Good evening. Wednesday evening, 11.15. And now that I've turned the camera on, that fucking phone will probably ring. <laughs> anyway, but you can't guess where Nemo is. If you're going to say, in a box over there asleep, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> um, my plan for today was... to clear up in here, get this parcel packed, that's that laptop and Nintendo Wii in there, um, and it's got the carrier label on it already, so that's ready to go for tomorrow, um, clear up in here and then get this Apollo done and up for sale. Didn't quite go to plan, because um, the other thing I've been doing is playing with this laptop. Um, but before I get to the laptop, if you notice I've now got a black pl plinter, a plinter, a black printer rather, not a plinter, and <laughs> that's that Epson that was given to me, because my Lexmark, when I went to print the postage label, didn't want to take the paper, no matter what I did, and for some reason I've had a very short fuse today. So I'm actually glad, in a sense, that no one's been to visit me apart from one person. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I have not... I don't know why, I've just had a really short temper today. So I started off, but I've deleted all that. Uh, so my old printer is now in bits in the hallway, ready to be dumped. Because I sort of jumped up and down on it in temper. <laughs> Literally jumped up and down on it. That would have been funny to watch. I wish I had a camera set up because that would have been funny to watch. I wish I wasn't in a flat because I could do a lot more stupid things like that. One of the reasons I don't is because I am in a flat. Anyway, I'm now reinstalling Windows on this laptop for the third time, I think. Um because I couldn't get Wi-Fi to work and it wouldn't let me turn it on. So I thought I'd just go into the BIOS and have a look and wireless communications was turned off in the BIOS. Which explains why I had no... I actually had no red indicator here or orange indicator. It was just off. And obviously when it's connected it should be green. So now I've actually changed that set and it's come on. So now... When I reinstall it, it should all work fine. Because this this is the laptop that had the problem where the screen went black, blank. It would be lit up like that, but it would just go blank for random reasons. But uh, touch wood, it hasn't done it all day. And I actually left it on for six hours, just idling. And it didn't do it, so... I'm just going to run and install hopefully for the last time <laughs> format that it's been another hot muggy day dull as in overcast very little sunshine but you know it's just been so muggy um I was going to try and use the one terabyte hard drive on this laptop as well. Because the original one yesterday, which is the other reason why it's taken me so many times to install Windows, it gave up. I went to shut it down. Nothing would work when I was clicking on it. The mouse cursor would move, but everything else on the desktop was frozen. And I was listening to the hard drive and I could hear the telltale click, pause, click, pause. <laughs> that's all it did so I thought ah dodgy hard drive so I wanted to use the one terabyte won't let me install Windows on that because it's a GPT type sector or partition sorry and it's got like three partitions and all of them are the same so for some reason whatever that GPT partition is it won't let me install I even tried taking the hard drive out, connecting it up to that desktop and formatting it as NTFS. 
still nothing it still does the same message so I pinched the 320 gigabyte drive out of the Acer Aspire I recently got working <laughs> that's now in there <laughs> um, that seems to be working So I'm just going to let it do its thing. I'm going to keep the Acer Aspar. Because that's going to be a good spare laptop. My old Advent, I'm going to stick it on Gumtree and sell it. Because I don't need it. You know, if I'm going to have this Toshiba here and that Acer Aspar, I don't need the Advent. So, Advent can go. For all I care. <laughs> um... The Advent that's on Windows 7 has got to be worth a hundred quid. Upgradable to Windows 10 if someone really, really wanted to. I could even do that myself. And I might be able to push a bit extra. Keeping in mind though, it's only got two gigabytes of memory and quite a low uh, or a slower speed processor than this one and that one. That one I've actually found out is a 2.1 gigahertz dual core AMD 4 gigabytes DDR2 of memory so it's spec wise in that sense it's pretty close to this one. I think I put a dual core on this one I don't think it's a quad core but I know it's got 4 gigabytes of DDR2 so I can't remember the processor speed, but I know that's probably not far off. I do like Toshiba laptops. Mum's been using a Windows XP one for months, and it's done her proud. <laughs> uh, but she's now got an Acer. She's got Biggles old laptop. Biggles treated himself to a brand spanking new laptop and sold his one to Mum because she's been in need of a a decent one for a while. And uh, it's on Windows Vista, but I've had a play around on it. And to be honest, for Windows Vista, that isn't too bad. That laptop even after all these years it's still working at a reasonable speed and booting up at a reasonable speed again, touch wood because I don't want to jinx it <laughs> um, yeah but she's kept the other XP laptop as a spare just in case but, uh, yeah, the only two main laptops I want to keep will be this Toshiba and that Acer Aspar. The Advent I've got... ...can kiss my ass. Mind you, I might try taking the two gigabytes of RAM out of that and sticking it in my... Uh, ...Windows Vista laptop, because that is fucking slow on one gigabyte of RAM. I think that's what let Vista down the most. You needed a machine that had pretty high specifications to run Vista smoothly. If you didn't, it was slow. But then again, if I did that, I wouldn't get as much for the laptop, would I? That's the arse. <laughs> The Vista one works, it just needs a keyboard, so I might as well just leave it as it is. As I say, don't fix what isn't broken. <sighs> Thankfully I've not seen any of my neighbours today. Well, I should say I haven't seen a specific neighbour today. I'm now locking my bikes up to the railing, but on the other side. But I don't get it, you know. 
she's saying I'm not supposed to lock them there, but Victory Housing recently did one of their inspections of the communal areas on, on their properties, especially these blocks of flats, and uh, the letter I received didn't say anything about the bikes locked up outside. It only said about the bikes that I kept out on the landing, you know. And they wanted me to move the bikes and the bulk items, which I've done. I have complied. Well, obviously, because the bulk items that were out there were junk anyway to go down the dump. They do that inspection every year. I think it's once a year. And I get the same thing every year. Please move your bikes from the landing. But I never hear no more and I always put my bikes back. Well, I know they might call it a health and safety issue, but I'm the only one that live in this block. Not, not the block. This flat. So, if I had to escape a fire through that door, and I trip over my own bicycle, that's my own fault anyway. <laughs> that's how I say it. I'm not the sort of person that would blame victory for something like that. I take responsibility for my own you know, my own actions, and my own doings, sort of thing, so... <laughs> but I always leave room. I don't put it right in front of my door, you know, I always leave room. I don't leave anything sticking over... on the... That'll be Mum, so I'll talk to her again in a minute. Yep, that was Mum. I'm going to Mum's tomorrow, so... Got my toolbox all packed up there, yeah. Turned that back into a bicycle toolkit, but it is literally just for bicycles. You know, I haven't put any other tools in there, just the tools I use for bikes. So, uh, this is pretty much installed, but it did do its blank screen trick. But it's only started doing the blank screen trick ever since I've st um, turned the Wi Fi on. So maybe that's the issue. If it does it again, I'll go into the bypass, um, bypass, into the BIOS, and turn wireless communication off again. Because it could be, could actually be in the BIOS or it could be something with the Wi-Fi interfering. Which means if I want to use that on Wi-Fi I would have to uh, um, compromise and get a USB adapter. Now it's doing this again but I can see the hard drive like working so I'll leave that. Take my medication, I nearly forgot. Oh. It's loaded this time. Loading. <laughs> I'm going to let it load up. It's taking its time. It could be because I turned it off. My one does the same thing as well. If it suddenly gets turned off, it can take a while to uh, boot back up. But I suppose it's part of the recovery process. I don't know. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, going to Mum's tomorrow. So I'm taking that. It's just easier than going through and picking the tools I want, because I guarantee I'll forget a tool. I'm going to replace this toolbox at some point as well, because uh, I've got a hole in the front there. I don't remember doing that. Okay. Why this hasn't come up down there? I know what it's doing. It's installing screen driver at the moment. Because it was doing this when I last installed.
No, now it's done it again. A blank screen, or a black screen this time, it was blue last time. And the hard drive light activity, or the hard drive activity light, I should say, has stopped for some reason. get that to play ball the way I want it to. I may end up just putting that hard drive back in the Acer and using that one. <coughs> Pardon me. And uh, upgrading the memory. Oh, it is doing something with this, right? I've got a friend request. A massage. So I won't get my Apollo here done, but if I take some bits to Mum's tomorrow and pick up a can of bike spray paint, I should be able to get a girl's bike done. Oh shit, hacksaw. Have I got one up here? Please tell me I've got a hacksaw up here because the ones at the workshop have blunt blades. You'd be lucky if they uh, cut through butter. World's first transistor watch. If it keeps doing weird fucking shit with the screen like that, I will just uh, turn the Wi-Fi off and not use it. I could use it as a laptop for around here. Like I said, get a hard drive for the Acer and uh, use that elsewhere or for travelling. Way the most cursor is working. Nothing else is up yet. Behave. No, wait, I did that wrong. Fucking behave. There you go. You're supposed to swear at things, aren't you? <laughs> Wee. Oh, this time I've got the Wi-Fi symbol up. I'll just get it to boot up. But I'm going to shut it down and leave it till tomorrow night, I think. I'm Cortana. Your new personal assistant. No, you're not, because I've got you on that one. I could actually technically have two Windows 10 desktops if I really wanted to. Because as I said, this laptop, it specs... Um, you know what, I'm going to boot this one up and just see what the processor is. Might as well. Pretty certain it's not far off from this one though. I don't know why I do that. It's annoying, it annoys me. Get it to behave as well. I'll uh, sort out all the desktop background too. But I'm just letting it boot up and I'm letting that hard drive light stop before I do anything. <laughs> and it's still flashing, so I don't know if it's still booting or if it's updating some drivers because uh, 
I've noticed Windows 10 actually likes to do that. I forgot about that. I left the um, printer installed disk in the computer. I am sorry, Nemo, but I'm going to have to boot you out of there soon. I am leaving this one on Windows 7, though. I'm sorry, but I want to go to bed shortly. <laughs> and I can't. Because it's full of junk. I know that you don't get no audio from this one. Because the speakers aren't turned on. What if I dare leave that laptop? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's why I need the box. Because I want to put them blobs in it. <laughs> I'm actually a bit miffed because there's a black box just like that one full of just loose assorted sockets and extensions and things I can't find it and I know for a fact I bought the damn thing upstairs because I remember distinctly remember picking it up so I did leave it in the hallway downstairs but I, like I said I distinctly remember picking it up. Right. Tell you what, looking at Windows 7 and Windows Vista, the looks, the way it all looks and is laid out, to me, just doesn't look any different. But Windows Vista was just uh, such a system resource hog. So we have on this one, Oh, it's a little bit fast. This is a 2.5 dual core on this one. 64 bit. And that one. Is a 2.1, 2.2 gigahertz dual core. It's taken me over a year to figure out how to find control panel on Windows 10 without <laughs> having to uh, search for it. You know, go into settings and physically type in control panel in the search thing. So we're given a system and it's just there. And my phone's playing up again. Large icons. System is right there. Yes, it's a 2.1. So, spec-wise, there's not a lot of difference between these. Now, that's what... 400 megahertz faster, the processor, on that one. <coughs> yeah. I put a 64-bit on this one, didn't I? Yep. Right, well. The screen's not doing anything, and it doesn't seem to be working, so... I did notice... I don't know if it was just something gone wrong with the computer, but some of these keys didn't work on this keyboard. Which is why I've got that there. Um... Just click on Edge and see what's going to... Oh, we've got Bluetooth. That's installed this time as well. That didn't install last time. Oh, God. This does this every time. Every time a new device connects to my router, it does this. on the wrong thing somewhere. This is all changed. This says... Fuck that. 
See if we can get Firefox on here, shall we? Fire box. And the official site. Well, I'm glad I've got the Wi-Fi working. I haven't got to mess around installing, you know, a little USB adapter or anything. That better not be another fucking wasp buzzing around in here. I had enough of those last night. Three. Two buzzing around this light, which I killed with the spray. And then about half an hour later I went into the bedroom to get ready to go to bed and there's a friggin' wasp in there buzzing around. I hate them. I probably... <sighs> probably hate them more than spiders. Oh, did I tell you the town council have actually started to move? They had a big rental van here today that they were using to uh, move stuff to and from. I did notice though it wasn't a rental van from the company in town. But I don't know if they're putting stuff into storage because the van they were using, that company also does self-storage. So maybe that's why they rented the van from them. Maybe you know they got it as all part of a package deal or something. I don't know. But I would have thought, you know, a local town council would support local businesses. Just my thoughts. I'm not saying they have to. I mean, make them use whatever company they want. Not my business. Don't import anything because there's nothing to import anyway. Close this. Always perform this check. No thank you. And use that as my default browser. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, I've got some keys that don't work. Um, I'm not going to worry about that for the time being. Because a laptop... Touch wood... If the screen was going to do its usual go blank trick, it would have done it by now. So, here. <laughs> yeah. Aside from a couple of keys not working, I'll fix the route. I'll play around with this. Later. Probably some more tomorrow night. But I've got that fold up rubber keyboard thing which is meant for laptops so just as a temporary measure if I did you know use this to travel with I could use the rubber yeah. keyboard it's not a huge issue the other thing I am gonna have to do fuck you then fucking CDs <laughs> Still shutting down and I closed the lid. Oops. Oh well. I don't know why, but that red light has just come on. It shouldn't be on. Yeah. Well, it was actually going to go over here and just pick up the battery and click that back in. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Until I knocked it all on the floor. Right. So, Wi Fi's working. Hard drive is in being supported by a folded up receipt because I haven't got a hard drive caddy at the moment that's another thing I'll have to get for it in the future like I said I'm not worrying about anything like that at the minute can't see how do I just lock that or unlock it I locked it so that's got to go there go in there Something just moved. Now, somewhere in this shithole I call a flat, I've got the cover for that. I'll get a 
the battery back out now. I just want to make sure I had it in there correctly. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if the battery's any good. I don't know if it'll charge. I've got a red light, an orange light flashing there. Good. I will call that at least for now. I'm going to touch my head because it's made of wood. <laughs> a success. So. I have got SATA hard drives, but I've only got a 40 gig, and uh, I don't really want to use a pissy little 40 gig on my Asus. I'm going to see if I can find a cheap one on eBay to chuck in it, and uh, reinstall Windows 10 on that one. I've got a spare laptop. I would use the M1 terabyte, but it's got a GPT. Um, partition or something and won't let me because it's a bitch <laughs> uh, maybe 20 minutes fucking hell do I pass I'll put this video up tonight I suppose <laughs> so that's good I'm glad of that I've just got to find that cover <laughs> I saw it the other day as well. Oi, shit brick, get out of that box. You've got a choice, either get out of it voluntarily or I'm going to kick you out of it. <laughs> He's just sitting there looking at me. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to put them bleeding bulbs in. I could do some more dubs. Hmm. I need a fire. Is that five speed or six speed? I can't remember. I'll change it either way. <laughs> but I was just thinking, the wheels I'm going to put in a a universal three-speed bike because I'm going to convert it to um, a thingamajig fig thing geared on the rear either a five or a six-speed the wheel I can't remember if it's got five or a six-speed freewheel on it I'll have to look I might go look in a minute right well I'm going to turn the camera off Get ready to go to bed, see if I can get some sleep. I'm going to sleep very well last night. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow when I get back from Mum's. And, uh, yeah. I don't think I'll. Actually, I think I'll bring, if I can fix it, the lady's bike back. Not the one I'm going to play with. Um, due to a lack of room. Well, actually, I could chuck it up on the landing up here. If I actually cleared the shit up in the bedroom, I could actually put one in there as well. Anyway, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye.